How you been? It's time to settle a little score from Rockport. You think? What's his bounty? 150k. David, take care of this guy. Show your face here! Oh, whoa, 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 hey, go, hey, mate. Control yourself. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> My bad, Romeo. <laughs> you miss me? Darius asked me to come by and see how you were doing. Neville, why don't you go get me something to drink? Things ain't been the same since you've gone, you know? There's a lot of, a lot of posers, no respect. Unit 4, mark confirmed for 1046 on suspects Bravo and Charlie. Suspect Alpha driving a blue Toyota is a non-action. You've got a lot to learn about the big times, little man. This city is mine, and it's time for you to disappear here. Sound speed. Mark. You ready and action. You gotta be joking, right? Go with again. Still rolling. Carbon is mine. It's time for you to disappear again. So I'd say we're on the bleeding edge. We're uh, taking live action, real actors, and we're putting them into a video game environment using green screen. And the cars are coming, throws in the lead, and three, two, one, win! Um, I think the best way to describe the CG environment, or the green screen environment, is fairly hostile to both the director and the actors. You've got to create an environment yourself around you when you're working on a green screen. It's a different world working in that environment day after day because you have to imagine all the things that are around you and you're really only just given sort of various reference points. There's no buildings, there's no roads, uh, there's no cars. I block everything out with 1 18th scale cars and little dolls um, on like a, on a big white set. And I bring the actors over to the table and I show them where everything is. They're standing here, this car goes by. Yes. Yeah, kind of, yeah, like, kind of like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. like reveals. That. And then reveals this. And we're just, we're, the camera's over there and we're yeah. doing our little dolly too. Okay. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Sexy. And then when I have them on set, I start describing the world around them, you know, the mood, uh, where they are, where the road is. That's good. Oh, I'm going to use that. Okay, and here are the cars coming in the distance. Oh, now it's going to happen. Here they come. Okay, here are the cars coming. Now you see the cars coming. They're coming closer and closer and cop! Babe, put the lights on. Get out of there! Get out of there! And cut it! This is very different from, from acting in film or television in some ways just because you're you're acting directly into a lens and you're talking to the hero and your player. You me? Excellent. It can be challenging, but um, but it's a lot of fun and, and I mean <laughs> the video village that they have set up for this as opposed to, you know, the little monitors that we get on film and TV where everything's kind of grainy and you're like, hmm, here we've got like 55 inch like flat screens and plasma <laughs> TVs and things and you're like, wow. Need for Speed is one of the hottest video games in the world, so it's only fitting that the brand new Canadian star be just as hot. I can't wait to see the finished product. Of course, we're doing it on green screen right now, but when they do throw the background in, it's, it's really neat. 
This is the last shot, ready? Oh. Cars drive off of this. Working on Need for Speed Audio has its perks. We were lucky to get the keys to some amazing cars this year, including a 4 GT, a Jag XK, and a highly modified 350Z. <laughs> fulfilling a uh, specific set of needs uh, set by EA, which is accelerations, deceleration, ramp up, slow turns, fast turns, and we'll go through a checklist of approximately 30 or 40 right? This is the first time in the Need for Speed franchise that we've had the technology to take our actors into real-time gameplay, and that is thanks to Universal Capture. <laughs> Doing the UCAP was just the most insane experience yeah. ever. The UCAP, I guess, it captures you from all different angles, so they put thousands of these dots all over your face, which is super intense to get. I think I believe 86 sensors all over the face. So it was neat, it was different. And they put you in the booth and you know, of course you pretend like you're you're driving and you play uh, you play to your left, to your right, you review mirror ahead of you in the screen. And this is the stuff to ultimately use for the for the racing sequences of the game. Try to keep up! So players crash, you cut to your car, you play the look, and then you but you and you're in the middle of driving. And driving, and we're driving and here you see the hero coming up and, here, and boom, you crash! Yeah. Yeah. You see the car on the right and ha! This is how you pass. Ha! This is how you pass. And ha! This is how you pass. So what we're seeing here is a system of capturing uh, facial performances from uh, real actors and and with that, a whole process that lets us uh, reconstruct these performances and, and put them in the game to deliver quality of characters and emotional experiences that has never been seen before. No one can touch you. It's probably been some of the hardest acting I've had to do as well. Um, you can move your head at a radius of about two inches this way and two inches that way, and up, down as well. And you're getting into car crashes and all sorts of things, and you're having to act without like going, whoa! You have to kind of keep it contained right here and just go like, whoa, 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 when getting into car crashes. So it's a little bizarre, but really fun and a challenge. It's not like anything I've ever done before. The real innovation has been in, in the actual uh, technology that's allowed this to work in real time. So instead of after five hour renders, we're delivering them in real time. Whoa, whoa, hey. I don't want to hear anything from you, okay? Look, I hate it when people say I told you so. You're not the only one with a score to settle. Now, let's get out of here.
I win, you lose. It's your last chance to face reality and back off. I have a secret that you'd like to know. I was there that night you left. I know all the back streets. I grew up in these alleys. I can customize anything. I practically built all the kits you see around this place. Okay, dokie. I got soda and water. Where'd you go? Darius gave you the safe house. You can use it to fix your car or chill out when the heat's on. Darius gave you the safe house. You can use it to fix your car or chill out when the heat's on. Sit down! It's time to settle a little score for the rock. Let, let me enumerate as another gate like a husky, but trust me. What, here? I'm right there. Nikki. What do you say you show your old friend the ropes? You got it, kid. I always say you did. I'm not using him. I'm the only one who knows what he's capable of. I run everything. Cars and drivers. I've been running you all along. Don't disappoint. <laughs>